exhilarating sports talk coming up next on the Doug Stewart Show in about two minutes. Stay tuned. We're about to have some fun, fun, fun. That's right. Sports talk, guy talk, right here on the Doug Stewart Show. Show coming up in about a minute and a half. Hold on. the no puppet zone that's right no puppetry around here the doug stewart show coming up in about one minute most unfiltered sports and guy talk show in America. The Doug Stewart Show, coming up in about 30 seconds. Yes! Play this record as frequently as possible. The Doug Stewart Show is the best in the world as far as I'm concerned. This is sports talk for the people. The Doug Stewart Show. It's like the tail wagging the dog. They create the narrative. Don't believe it. Don't fall for the banana in the tailpipe. Are you not entertained? This is sports talk with hot sauce. Texas P hot sauce. The Doug Stewart Show. Yeah! Talk Monday, ballers, busters, game balls, goats, heroes, zeros, whatever you want to call them, we're giving them out today. Shouts out to all of the Stewies. Good morning to you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man, we got a lot planned for you today, as we do every single day. But today we got an extra lot today. Bring that beat back for your boy one more time, though, Cassidy. Bring it back for one more time. One more time, Cassie. Bring it back! <laughs> Damn, Cassidy. Come on now, I need you to be on cue. Let's go, Waterhead. Let's go, Stewies. The number to the show is 404-382-0338. You can also email me at Doug at the DougStewartShow.com. Good morning to all of the Stewies. Good morning, good morning. Hope you had a good weekend. I did. Very eventful weekend in the world of sports. So we're going to get into a ton of that today, obviously, man. Uh, if you're new to the Doug Stewart Show, first of all, what took you so long? But thank you so much for tuning in after the fact. Uh, we've been doing this show now for about a year and almost a year and a half. Not even a year and a half, about a year and four months, I believe. And uh, we have the best time around here, man. I mean, a fantastic time around here. So a couple of things you need to do if you're new to the show. Oh, yeah, and this is your boy, Doug Stewart, one half of the world-famous Two Live Stews, if you just happen upon the show. Um, sports talk, guy talk like like nowhere else in the world. I mean, nowhere else in the world. A couple things you need to do. You need to go to Spreaker.com and find the Doug Stewart Show on Spreaker. Just search the Doug Stewart Show. Once it comes up, you need to hit the follow button, okay? So whenever the show 
uh, goes live or any of the other shows on the network goes live, you will be alerted. So do that. Hit the hit the follow button. And then you need to click on the little um, talk little icon, okay, the chat little icon. And you enter into a whole new world of sports and guide chat. I call it the fantasy island of sports and guide chat. And its inhabitants, its inhabitants are the Stewies. Yes! <laughs> Good morning, Stewies! Damn, I see y'all up in here already, boy, doing the damn thing. Shouts out to all of the Stewies, man. Who we got in here, man? Who we got in here? Sluggo, Bootsy, Leon, Andre Elam, uh, Sydney Jackson, Miss Mocha, the 47 Problem, Redland Kirk. Um, uh, yeah, good morning to y'all. My peoples. All right, um, so today, uh, as I mentioned earlier, a very eventful day, man. Today is a Man Talk Monday. We need your ballers and your busters. Some people call them game balls and goats, all right, from uh, this past weekend in the world of sports or entertainment. Um, what else we got to get into? Oh, a little bit later today. The Doug Stewart Show, if you if you didn't know, if you're new to the show, the Doug Stewart Show is brought to you by ID Life. Okay, ID Life is individualized nutrition. ID Life is a company that's changing the health and wellness industry. All right, so if you want to get more information about ID Life, go to the Doug Stewart Show. I actually did an an interview with uh, an executive director from ID Life a while back, uh, Dr. Sean T. Hill. We're actually going to replay that interview today. At about 11.30 p.m. Eastern Time uh, in preparation because we're going to talk to him again tomorrow about the business aspect and the money-making opportunity with ID Life. So we're going we're gonna to have that interview tomorrow, but we'll recap ID Life. We haven't really uh, talked about it in detail, uh, probably as much as we should have. So we're going to replay the interview where Dr. Sean T. Hill breaks down ID Life and gives you all the details about his products and about the company and then uh, that'll be in preparation for tomorrow where we will talk to him again about that great business opportunity. So stay tuned for that interview a little bit later today. Um, entertainment news. Your boy, and you're listening to the Doug Stewart Show. I always talk about how I'm a big TV guy. And I always, and, you know, I'm sure we've done the rankings and I've given you my top five TV series of all time. I am happy and proud to say that I am finally caught up with The Walking Dead. <laughs> I am. Uh, let me say this, man. And we'll, and we'll talk about it later today at some point. I am caught up. Um, I, I hadn't seen any of season six, okay? So I started watching. I basically binge watched the entire season and actually watched a live episode last night of The Walking Dead on uh, AMC. But I watched 11 episodes of The Walking Dead in the past week and a half, I believe it was. And all I got to say, man, is, is and we'll talk about it a little bit more later, but it's a phenomenal show, man. It's a phenomenal show. Yeah, so we'll, we'll, we'll touch upon that as well. Yeah, yeah. Sports related, man, a couple of big stories. Your boy Peyton Manning is going to call it a career. The Lakers, the Lakers got a little bit of hope. They give a ninja some hope. Ah, yes, sir. The lake is giving me some hope. Kind of, sort of. Yeah, we'll talk about that. Conor McGregor gets his ass kicked. Holly Holmes gets her ass kicked, too. We'll talk about them. Roddy ain't holding his tongue. The great Roddy White is not holding his tongue, man, about the, what went down with the Atlanta Falcons and offensive coordinator Kyle Shanahan. We'll talk about that. Johnny Manziel partying with who? I'll tell you about that. Jameis Winston did what? I'll tell you about that. I don't know. It's actually a good story. I, and we shouldn't make fun of We shouldn't play the, the little rim shot, little beat thing just now. Because it's actually a good story, kind of, sort of, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't know about this. We'll talk about Jameis Winston. Uh, and, oh, yeah, Joseph Randall is at it again. Damn. Somebody pray for Joseph Randall. Please pray for Joseph Randall. So we'll get into all that stuff today. Listen, I talked about the chat room where you post your, your thoughts and on whatever we're talking about here on the Doug Stewart Show. But you still can call the show old school style 
404-382-0338. You can also email me at Doug at the Doug Stewart Show.com. We are totally interactive. I read a lot of your chat throughout the show. We have fun. We talk about birthdays. We do top fives. We all over the place, man. The fastest two hours in sports and entertainment. The Doug Stewart Show. So, not really a surprise. Not really a surprise because, I mean, I don't think he had any other choice. I don't know any other team that would want him. But Peyton Manning is going to call it a career, man. After 18 years, they got a press conference scheduled today for 1 p.m. Um, this is going to be big for the Broncos uh, as well because it's going to save them like $19 million in cap room. Peyton Manning, man, I mean, you can say all you want about him. And he had a slow start to his career. Uh, some controversy uh, over him over the last couple of weeks. But there's no denying Peyton Manning's one of the top three, four, five quarterbacks in NFL history. The Sheriff. <laughs> That's what they call him, the Sheriff. And I think John Gruden uh, or Ron Jaworski, one of those cats in the Puppet Factory, they gave him the name, man, and it fits aptly. Because uh, this dude, man, I'm talking about a, you talk about a, a, a coach on the field. You talk about a general on the field. Peyton Manning was that 18 years. I don't know. Let me think about it. And I, I, I guess I should have written this down. I can easily do this during the break. But let me think where I put or where I would put Peyton all time as far as quarterbacks that I've seen in my lifetime. I'm 46 years old. So I've been cognizant and could understand football probably. You know, since like the age of eight or nine or something like that. Um, and, and the players on the field. Uh, when we get back, I'll tell you where I, where I think I would place Peyton all time. Or at least in the last 40 years or so. Yeah, I didn't see Sammy Ball, Otto Graham, and none of them cats like that. I'm sure they were pretty good. But let's let, let, I'm, I'm going to talk about Peyton and where I think I would rank him. As far as quarterbacks in the last 40 years. Some of these numbers, and I'll give you some of these numbers when we get back from the break. Some of these numbers, man, absolutely incredible. Now, in this day and time of football, you know, the pass is much more important than the passing game. And these offenses are much bigger uh, than they were 25, 20 years ago even. Um, So you got to keep that in mind as far as talking about someone's greatness. You can't always talk about the stats. You know, there's a lot of intangibles that you got to kind of look at as well. But I will say this, it's not even close. I think he's a top five quarterback. When we get back, I'll tell you where I actually would put him at in my rankings. Um, Great career. Great, great career. Phenomenal career. Now, you won't hear anybody else talk about this. You haven't heard anybody else on the Puppet Fact talk about this. Fantastic career, but if your daughter's around her, you gotta watch out. He'll throw her, his nuts on her face. Allegedly. Allegedly. That's what he'd do. But it was two different conversations. The player and the sexual assault allegations that just came out, they're two different conversations. No one else is gonna have the conversation. We will on the Doug Stewart show. Fantastic quarterback. Very, very free with his nuts, though. Yeah. Don't go away. Keep it locked. The Doug Stewart show. What is ID Life? Well, over the last 18 years, a group of scientists and doctors have been working on the development of a -a one-of-a-kind nutritional supplement program that takes all the guesswork out of what you need and delivers your truly personalized pharmaceutical-grade nutrition with your name on it directly to your door. Through the integration of thousands of medical and scientific studies, answers you provide to the free assessment and more than 5,470 algorithms that process the data ID Nutrition recommends what you need, leaves out what you don't, and blocks things known to the system that have possible adverse effects based on the answers you provide. The result is a program that is revolutionizing the health and wellness industry. Welcome to ID Life. For more information, just go to thedougstewartshow.idlife.com. That's thedougstewartshow.idlife.com. Do you have your own radio show? Are you an artist or a DJ? BV Mobile Apps is the solution for you. They specialize in creating mobile apps for entertainers. That's right. You can have your own mobile app where your followers can hear your shows or music, watch your videos, and view all your social networks in one place. 
You can even make money with banner ads and send push notifications directly to your audience to make sure they get your messages. Everyone has their phones on them, right? A mobile app will add credibility to your brand because your content will be accessible to them while they're on the go. BB Mobile Apps also makes apps for bloggers, actors, and producers. The process only takes about 20 minutes. Just go to bbmobileapps.com and click Get Started Now. That's bbmobileapps.com and tell them the Doug Stewart Show sent you. At Ticket Liquidator, we believe you should have access to the experiences you want to be a part of. Since 2003, Ticket Liquidator has been connecting buyers and sellers with the most sought after and often sold out events across the country. Ticket Liquidator's nationwide network is you access to one of the largest online inventories of sports, theater, and concert tickets with prices lower than most companies in other markets. And our security policies are solid, so you can buy with absolute confidence. More tickets, better service, and lower prices. So you can witness the best entertainment, culture, and sports events worldwide. At Ticket Liquidator, we know that seeing a legend bring down the house or watching your team win the championship is about more than a ticket. It's about being there. For all your sports and entertainment ticket needs, call us at 855-638-3034. Again, that's 855-638-3034. If you're not doing what the hell are you doing? This is the Doug Stewart Show. The number to the show is 404-382-0338. You can also email me at Doug at the Doug Stewart Show.com. Happy Monday to you. Rough weekend for baby girl and her track meet. <laughs> so my daughter had her first uh, track meet of the season, outdoor track meet of the season. And so... The last couple of weeks, Coach has got her running hurdles. This is the first time she's ever done hurdles. And they had four girls in the hurdles, uh, the 100-meter hurdles this past weekend. And baby girl came in last place. Now, the coach actually thinks she has tremendous potential in the hurdles. And she's actually been doing very good. And everybody at the practices talks about, man, your girl doing good at the hurdles. And in, in her first race, this is her first official race in the track meet, and she basically, you could tell that she was very mm, cautious about not falling on them damn hurdles. Because if you fall on them hurdles, it'll change your life. And she's actually fallen and practiced a couple of times, man. So I think in her mind, she was very hesitant to go all out because she didn't want to fall. You know, that's, that's got to weigh on you. Um, but she actually came in fourth. There was four girls. And the other two girls, they only beat her. They both beat her by less than five-tenths of a second, both the other girls. The first girl was her teammate. Uh, She blew them out by like a a second and a half. But the other two girls, they were all three like leaning at the tape. My baby girl didn't lean. She got to lean. She got to get better starts. But but she, you know, good spirits, uh, disappointed that she didn't get a medal. Uh, but but it was a tough weekend for her. And the actual, uh, what else is she running? You're listening to the Doug Stewart Show. She ran the 400 as well. Didn't do well in that at all either. <laughs> but the coach, and I know it might sound like I'm making excuses for my baby girl, but the coach put her in the 400. That's not a race. He puts them in, in longer races so to kind of build up their strength and endurance. This is what they tell me. It kind of builds up the strength and endurance for the shorter races. So she runs the 100. Her races are the 100 and the 200. And I think this hurdle thing is going to be good for her too. But this past weekend wasn't a good weekend. <laughs> it wasn't. And I actually taped the hurdles. I think I'll put it up in the Doug Stewart Show Facebook group. And you need to do that. You need to follow me not just on the Doug Stewart Show and listen to the show. But you need to also follow me on social media, on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, we actually have our own Facebook group on the Doug Stewart Show on, uh, on Facebook. Uh, it's called the Doug Stewart Show. So go into that and I'll post a video of her running the 100-meter hurdles from this past weekend. And you'll see, like, she, she easily could have been second. <laughs> but she wasn't. She wasn't. Uh, 404-382-0338. You can also email me at Doug, the Doug Stewart Show, dot com. Peyton Manning calling it a career after 18 years, man. 539 passing touchdowns. 
71,940 yards, and he ties Brett Favre with quarterback wins in the NFL with 186. Um, let's see, a couple other records by Peyton Manning. 4,000-yard seasons, he had 14 of those. Um, 400-yard games uh, in the season, he had four in one season. Passing touchdowns, career, 539 again. Passing TDs in a season, he had the 55 TDs a couple of years ago, back in 2013, after the neck injury, the four or five neck surgeries, which is suspect as hell. I ain't saying he ain't cheating. I'm not saying he used roids. Just because his wife gets shipments of roids doesn't mean Peyton's on roids. Um, he had 26 TDs as a rookie. That's a record. That was back in 1998, obviously, his rookie year. Uh, seven touchdowns in a game. That's a passing TD record. That was back in 2013. And once again, 186 wins ties Brett Favre. Tremendous career for Peyton Manning. There's no other way to look at it. When I think Peyton Manning, when I think Peyton Manning, I think I think a lot of hype ever since he came out of out of college. Uh, expected to do all these big things at Tennessee, and he did. He was a great quarterback, but they never won a championship. Uh, you know, T. Martin actually came behind him and actually won a championship at uh, at, at the University of Tennessee. So really, really didn't live up to expectations in relative terms of what he was supposed to do in college. Um, Florida basically owned the Tennessee, the Tennessee Volunteers when he was there. Then he gets into the NFL, number one pick in the draft, obviously. A little controversy between him and Ryan Leaf, who should be the first pick in the draft. The Colts obviously made the right decision because Ryan Leaf probably spent, what, three, four years in the NFL, and that was it. Um, struggled in the playoffs throughout his entire career. Uh, that's something I remember about Peyton Manning. But but obviously, there's, there's, I just read you the stats. There's no way to deny what he's meant winning two Super Bowls. Now, the second Super Bowl that he won this past year against the Carolina Panthers, um, I, I, I don't know how you would quantify that as far as on his resume. He won the Super Bowl. The Broncos won the Super Bowl. He was the quarterback. But... It wasn't because of him. I mean, let's just be honest. <laughs> it wasn't because of Peyton Manning. But he's got two rings. He's done it with two different organizations, two franchises. And the numbers speak for themselves. I think if I had to rank Peyton Manning as far as quarterbacks that I would take, if I had my choice at the peak of their career from the last 40 years, and I've seen a lot of quarterbacks, and I'm trying to be as non-biased as I can because there's a couple guys that are my favorites. Um, but I'm trying to factor in, you know, how good of a quarterback they were, their natural ability, their skill set, and kind of like their resume and their stats. Um, number one, I would take Joe Montana still. I don't, I, I don't care. I, I, w- I still would take Joe Montana. Um, you talk about intangibles. I mean, you're just a master of intangibles and a leader and a winner and a guy that would will his team to victory. He's got the hardware. Uh, the stats probably don't stand up to, to, to quarterbacks today. I mentioned that earlier because it's a different game. But if I had to pick a quarterback, if I had my option to pick a quarterback, the first guy that I would pick would be Joe Montana. Number two, I think that I would take still, I think I still would take John Elway. And the reason I say that, John Elway's got the rings. He missed out on a couple of other Super Bowls and losses in the Super Bowl. You know, it took them many years before he won his first one. A lot of people will tell you it's because of Terrell Davis. But the reason I'll take, you know, Elway still over Peyton Manning, factoring in everything, is because of arm strength. (laughs) And because of the fact that he could just chunk it. If you look at Peyton, Peyton could throw the ball. He could throw the ball deep. But a lot of times, man, Peyton threw ducks. Like, like he didn't have the prettiest pass. He didn't have a spiral. John Elway would just knock your damn chest off. I mean, he had a cannon of an arm, a rifle arm as well. Obviously, all the records, all the stats, you know, all of the accolades. I mean, he's got everything. I still would take John Elway. I think third, though, I would take Peyton Manning. If you factor in everything that they've done throughout the career, you know, ushering in this new age of offenses, 
and and the complexity of offenses and running said offense. I mean, Peyton Manning was a master. He was like a freaking Jedi master out there at the quarterback position. Smart as hell. Um, could make all the throws. Um, and once again, has the stats and has the resume and the and the titles to uh, to put him in the conversation. So I think I would take him third. Uh, fourth or fifth, I mean, I, 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 there's, I, I'm kind of preferential. Uh, I have preferential treatment to... To Dan Fouts that played with the San Diego Chargers to tell the story all the time. I was a big Charger fan growing up. I had a, a guy from my hometown to play with the Chargers. Dan Fouts was a bad boy. Um, there's a lot of guys. Warren Moon, obviously. Uh, if you're talking about a guy, everything being equal, and you put him on a talented team as well as uh, the, the, that, that Peyton Manning had surrounding him and Montana had surrounding him. I like Randall Cunningham. I mean, there's a lot of great quarterbacks out there that have played over the last 40 years. Troy Aikman is kind of, you know, maybe I put Troy Aikman maybe behind Peyton Manning. Maybe I put Troy Aikman at maybe fourth or fifth or something like that. Uh, a lot of people would put Brett Favre in their top five. Not me. Not me because Brett Favre. But Brett Favre is, to quote the, grand, <laughs> to quote the great Fred Sanford, you're just dumb, son. You're just dumb. Brett Favre lose your ass a game more than he win it. I mean, he's got all of the accolades and everything, but if I'm making my choice, Brett Favre wouldn't be in my top five, maybe six, maybe seven. Um, but I think I think I would put Peyton at third, right behind John Elway, based on everything. If you factor in every, once again everything that he's done in his career, man, you can't deny uh, the greatness. I mean, first ballot Hall of Fame is not going to even be a question. And, uh, I mean, the sheriff, I mean, the sheriff does it. I mean, he rides off into the sunset. I don't know. What are your thoughts on that? Where would you put Peyton Manning as far as the top quarterbacks of all time? And uh, in particular, uh, in the last 40 or so years, so I can talk about it intelligently as well. <laughs> Let me read a couple of your, uh, your chat messages uh, in the chat room on Spreaker.com from Texas Ty says, I'm with you on Barry. Never proven guilty, so he's innocent. Uh, I guess he's talking about Barry uh, uh, um, um, Barry Bonds from King50. Mocha, my bad. I thought I had tapped your name. My apologies. Um, from Bootsy Favre is maybe top 10, but definitely not top 5. Too many game-changing mistakes in his big games. I agree. And, you know, I, I try to be fair. I try to be honest, man. And I'm not a Brett Favre fan, and I've always thought that they overhyped him too much. And you're listening to the Doug Stewart Show. But, I mean, Brett Favre is definitely top 10. Probably somewhere between 7 and 10. If I were to sit down and put out a list and write down a list with a lot of thought behind it, Probably 7 to 10, something like that. Um, I always tell a story when the Falcons took on Brett Favre and the Green Bay Packers. This was probably like eight, nine years ago, maybe. I mean, time flies. Incredible. And uh, Favre came to Atlanta, man. I was actually in the game. You know, a lot of times, nine times out of ten, I'm just in the parking lot tailgate. We got a big setup at our tailgate with big-ass TVs. But I actually was in this game. When I tell you Brett Favre, when the ball came out of his hand, uh, I'd never seen anybody with that that type of velocity behind their throws as Brett Favre. And it was almost like he flicked it, but it just came out like a freaking missile. Like, he's got a strong arm. When you talk about the strongest arms in the NFL, man, there ain't too many got, got stronger arms than Brett Favre. So even though I'm not a fan, um, and I think he's gotten way too much credit, you know, and not enough responsibility for the dumb mistakes that he made throughout his career. Um, he was a fantastic quarterback. A fantastic quarterback. All right, when we get back from the break, man, the Lakers giving your boy a little bit of hope. <laughs> yes, sir! They're giving me and the rest of the Laker fans all over this world hope. Yes! We'll talk about that up next. I'll read your chat. This is the Doug Stewart Show. This is Doug Stewart from the Two Live Studios here to tell you about the team at Strickland Security. Let's face it, the metro Atlanta area is a great place to live, but like most major cities, it has a crime problem. There is nothing more important than ensuring the safety of your family and your home. And for business owners, protecting your business is critical because it's your livelihood. Strickland Security can satisfy all of your security needs. 
The staff at Strickland Security has a combined 55 years of experience in the business of protecting people and property, from alarm systems to uniform security guards and everything in between. Strickland Security has an affordable solution for you. To see a list of all their security services, visit their website at StricklandSecurity.com or give them a call at 800-422-9075. That's 800-422-9075. Again, that's StricklandSecurity.com. In a world where criminals are above the law, the rule of justice is broken and the system is corrupt and needs to be torn down. There exists one man who fights for what's right, determined to triumph over evil. When an unscrupulous mob boss hurts his friends and takes over his neighborhood and no one helps, he'll be forced to fight back by any means necessary. Every man has to make his own destiny. This is his. The Explosive Debut Novel by Norman R. Coulson. The Origin of Aaron Jackson. Coming soon. Do you have your own radio show? Are you an artist or a DJ? BB Mobile Apps is the solution for you. They specialize in creating mobile apps for entertainers. That's right. You can have your own mobile app where your followers can hear your shows or music, watch your videos, and view all your social networks in one place. You can even make money with banner ads and send push notifications directly to your audience to make sure they get your messages. Everyone has their phones on them, right? A mobile app will add credibility to your brand because your content will be accessible to them while they're on the go. BB Mobile Apps also makes apps for bloggers, actors, and producers. The process only takes about 20 minutes. Just go to bbmobileapps.com and click Get Started Now. That's bbmobileapps.com and tell them the Doug Stewart Show sent you. Welcome back to the Doug Stewart Show, Man Talk Monday, a little bit later today, man. Uh, we're going to replay an interview from Dr. Sean T. Hill, Executive Director of ID Life, telling you everything you need to know about ID Life. The Doug Stewart Show is brought to you by ID Life, so stay tuned for that. Um, this segment is brought to you by my folks from ExcellenceSuccess.com. Do you want to work from home, work from home using your computer and your brain? The new book from ExcellenceSuccess.com is what you need to make sure that dream job is not a scam. If you face a 100-mile drive to work, you are the primary giver for, caregiver for another person, or if you live in a place that is isolated or unsafe, working from home using your computer and your brain will help you discover unique work-from-home jobs that aren't scams. You can open on an online shop or the art gallery or design and sell fashion or even design and market gift wrap. Working from home using your computer and your brain can help you be successful. Working from home using your computer and your brain is available on excellencesuccess.com and on Amazon. Once again, that's excellence-success.com. That's excellence-success.com. All right. The number to the show is 404-382-0338. What are your thoughts about Peyton Manning? Uh, we're talking about him today on a Man Talk Monday, getting your ballers and your busters, and I guess Peyton deserves the first brawler of the day for an 18-year tremendous career. Uh, talking about that, uh, got to get into some UFC here in a second. Some asses got kicked this weekend. <laughs> yeah. But before we do that... <clears throat> <clears throat> clear my throat. Before we do that, the Los Angeles Lakers get a ball award. <laughs> you know what it is, Shawty. You know what it is. The Lakers stunned the Golden State Warriors 112 to 95. 
Uh, Jerome Randall has 12 points for the Lakers. Kobe Bryant has 12. Jordan Clarkson goals off at 25. D'Angelo Russell has 21 points as well. And the Lakers beat the Golden State Warriors 112-95. Ball award to them. The Splash Brothers, a.k.a. the Light-Skinned Brothers, Clay Thompson and Steph Curry were combined one from 18, or one for 18, from the three-point line this past weekend in the game. Golden State fell to 55-6, and six, and the Lakers improved to 13-51. and 51. Now, this thing is kind of like a, uh, a double-edged sword. I'm happy that these young boys are showing some promise, okay? But I'm not happy that you continue to win these damn games. <laughs> yeah, there's a thin line. So I don't need y'all to win games because we do need to get Ben Simmons uh, or increase our chances and make sure we have the best chance possible to get Ben Simmons because you know they do that lottery type thing or whatever. So I'm not too happy or too thrilled about that. But about this team, man, um, I got the NBA League pass. So I watch every single Laker game there is. A lot of times there's nothing to talk about because they suck this year. We all know that. But I watch every single game, okay, on my phone <laughs> because I don't have uh, cable anymore. I got all streaming. So now I have to watch it on my phone. But I watch every single Laker game on the on the phone. Over the last couple of weeks, your boy D'Angelo Russell has been kind of coming into his own. Byron Scott has been, you know, allowed him to play and go out there and kind of be, you know, the guy on the floor. He scored 20 points or more in five of his past six games. Okay, you heard what I said? This kid had been struggling the early part of the year. So five of his last six games, he's averaged over 20 points, so scored more than 20 points. Um, the Larry Nance Jr. kid, man, who's gotten a lot of starts this year, Byron Scott is, you know, it seems like he has some type of love-hate affair with, with, with Julius Randle as well. But both of those, they show a tremendous upside. So I think we straight on the point guard. I think maybe, maybe D'Angelo Russell, and I'm still kind of hesitant to say he, he's the guy going forward. They used a high pick on him. It seems like he's starting to figure it out. You got to remember, this kid's 19 years old. Okay? He's 19 years old. Um, time will tell. Were they right? Were they wrong in taking him over Jaleel Okafor? We'll see. You hear about Jaleel Okafor having a good game here and there. He's a seven-footer, though. He's great around the basket. I would have liked for the Lakers to take him. But maybe I was wrong. I don't do this for a living. You know, the front office, maybe they know what they're doing. Hopefully it works out. But the kid's been playing good for the last couple of weeks. Larry Nance Jr., Julius Randle. I mean, to me, they're almost like at this point in their careers, and you're looking... You're listening to the Doug Stewart Show. I like both of them. Like, I can literally see these guys, both of these guys being perennial all-stars in a couple of years. Okay, obviously the great lineage that Nance Jr. comes from with his daddy. Um, and Julius Randle, man, at, at times out there on the floor, he looks like a man amongst boys. So, so they got some things to work with. I'm not sure about Clarkson. At the two position, even though he's probably the most dynamic scorer on the team, uh, you know, uh, over the last year or two, I'm not sure about him. I don't know if the organization sold to him uh, 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 yet as well. So maybe you get Ben Simmons in the draft, and you put him at the two, even though he's 6'10", he really could be a small forward. Uh, maybe you play him at small forward, uh, the, the Huertas guy. I'm not banking on him. Any, I mean, he's an old international type player. He's solid out there a lot of times, but... Um, he's just not part of the future. I think I think the future is kind of looking a little bit brighter, man. I mean, I've been really down in the dumps about this team, and you're listening to the Doug Stewart Show. <laughs> I've been really down in the dumps about this team. But, uh, 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 no, we're not going to show you this video. I doubt we'll show you this video. We video the show every single day. But I'm kind of doing my head like, uh, my hands, uh, I don't know, man. I mean, a glimmer of hope. That's all that I have, and that's all that you have as a Laker fan is a glimmer of hope. Kobe's going to be done. Uh, Shaq isn't walking through that door. Kareem isn't walking through that door, and you're listening to the Doug Stewart Show. Um, 
Got a couple of things to build upon. Really love Larry Nance Jr. Um, if he was an inch or two taller, I would almost put his ass at center. He's only 6'9". They list him at 6'9". But he plays much bigger than that. He plays much bigger than that. I like the young boys. I mean, we got a nice little little group of young players. If 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 Russell continues at this pace and 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 uh, Nance Jr. and Randall continue to progress as well, uh, and they draft the player, they get lucky with a player, man. The Lakers might be back real soon around this bitch. <laughs> Think positive. You got to think positive from Vince Wright. He says, Doug, is Jamal Wilkes walking through that door? No. My second favorite Laker player of all time is not walking through that door. Jamal Wilkes is not walking through that door. From J.B. Jennings, I think uh, Ingram or ben, over Ben Simmons. Ooh. Is Ingram, is he eligible to come out? Yeah, I think you can do one and done in the NBA. I always get confused about the rules as far as eligibility and, you know, going into the NBA. Yeah, the Ingram kid from Duke, man. He's so skinny, though. I love his game. And he's going to put on weight. Um, I don't know. I haven't been paying attention to it that much. Is there that much of a of a question? Like, you know, and just, you know, listening to reports and reading stories and about their brand and how much conversation one cat gets over the next. Um, to me, for the last couple of months, it just seemed like and ben, ben Simmons is in the news uh, this weekend. Uh, we'll, we'll get into that here in a second, but it seems to me Simmons is the guy, but yeah, if you watch the Ingram kid from Duke, man, I mean, a complete game, man, a complete game. He's so frail though. Uh, he'll put on a couple of pounds. Old man weight will, will, will be added to his body. I don't know. I don't know. I may, I got to look at it a little bit more. Uh, the buddy heel kid from, uh, from Oklahoma. Fantastic as well. The Lakers are going to have a couple of opportunities to pick a real good player. If they get, uh, they have to be in the top three, or they lose the damn pick, which is a, it was just a travesty. Um, but there's a couple of guys out there, man, that could be real, real cornerstones to an organization going forward, or that's what they project to be. So it's some, it's some, it's some bright skies ahead, man. I think, I think. Obviously, this year is tough. This year is very tough. <laughs> the last couple of years have been very tough, really. I don't know. I don't know. From Clay Cobra, Kai Davis. He says, Ben Simmons should have took his ass overseas if he didn't want to do schoolwork. Yeah, we'll quickly mention that when we get back from the break. I'm kind of torn about that conversation because, I mean, they're forcing these kids to be there anyway. I mean, if they still had the rules the way that they were, you know, 15, 20 years ago when Cass just could jump straight out of the NBA, out of college to the NBA, Ben Simmons wouldn't be at LSU. We all know that. So I don't know. We'll talk about a little bit more when we get back from the break. I'll read more of your chat. Sports talk with hot sauce, Texas Pete hot sauce. This is the Doug Stewart Show. Don't go away. At Ticket Liquidator, we believe you should have access to the experiences you want to be a part of. Since 2003, Ticket Liquidator has been connecting buyers and sellers with the most sought after and often sold out events across the country. Ticket Liquidator's nationwide network is you access to one of the largest online inventories of sports, theater, and concert tickets with prices lower than most companies in other markets. And our security policies are solid, so you can buy with absolute confidence. More tickets, better service, and lower prices. So you can witness the best entertainment, culture, and sports events worldwide. At Ticket Liquidator, we know that seeing a legend bring down the house or watching your team win the championship is about more than a ticket. It's about being there. For all your sports and entertainment ticket needs, call us at 855-638-3034. Again, that's 855-638-3034. Fantasy sports fans are winning huge cash prizes every day at DraftKings.com, America's favorite place to play daily fantasy sports. Daily fantasy means no season-long commitments. Play whenever you want. Just pick your sport and draft your team. It's like a new season every time you play, so you're never stuck with the same players. Last year, $300 million were won at DraftKings.com, and you could be next to win big. Go to DraftKings.com now and enter promo code STEW to play for free. 
That's Stu for free entry now at DraftKings.com. Also, if you use promo code Stu, DraftKings will match your initial deposit up to $600. Deposit $600, play with $1,200. DraftKings.com, promo code Stu. This is your folk, Doug Stewart. Want to protect you and your family from life's unexpected mishaps? Then join Seven. Join Seven is a prepaid legal company under the umbrella of the Protection Group. Join Seven is the only group benefit or motor club in the U.S. that offers auto reimbursement coverage, key replacement coverage, roadside assistance, gives you a current metafile, prescription savings, and fully encompassed prepaid legal benefits that include identity theft. They got you back. The average combined cost to purchase these benefits individually is over $850 a year. Join today and take advantage of all seven for $17 a month. They've been around for over 20 years, so check them out by clicking on the banner link on my page, the DougStewartShow.com, or the app. Just go ahead and join seven. Welcome back to the Doug Stewart Show. All right, what you're hearing in the background is new music from Lynette Jones. All right, once again, new music from Lynette Jones. Go to the Doug Stewart Show Facebook group page or um, my Twitter account. Just click on the link and you can hear our new music. It's called You Don't Love Me and it's by Lynette Jones. Welcome back to the Doug Stewart Show. And it is a Man Talk Monday. Ballers and busters, game balls and goats. Support Miss Lynette Jones, man. Buy this single. Uh, it's only $2. Uh, just click on the link once again in the Doug Stewart Show Facebook group or on my Twitter account or on Stewart Media and Entertainment on Facebook. It's all over the place. You can find the link. Support Lynn Jones. Support Stewart Media and Entertainment advertisers. Yes, sir. Um, the number to the show is 404-382-0338. A little bit later, we're going to replay an interview with Dr. Sean T. Hill, giving you everything you ever wanted to know and all the details about ID Life. What is ID Life? ID Life is the future of health and wellness, an industry game changer, the Netflix of nutrition. Uh, I had a phenomenal um, shake this morning uh, before I came in studio, and it's all... Uh, uh, natural, uh, organic, uh, peanut butter, uh, bananas, and then I have the ID Life protein mix in there as well. Um, I'm going to do a little video on this, this this smooth. I think I might even have talked about it last week. But ID Life has some of the best supplements product uh, supplemental products that you can find out there. Take your free assessment. Go to thedougstewartshow.idlife.com. That's thedougstewartshow.idlife.com. Take your free assessment. And uh, have ID put ID Life put you together some phenomenal products specifically for you. So stay tuned for that interview a little bit later today. Before we went to the break, we were talking about Ben Simmons. If you haven't heard, Ben Simmons um, was ruled ineligible for the Wooden Award, which basically is the, the College Basketball Player of the Year. And they can't really say why, but most people are – are ascertaining it's because of grades. And there was some conflict or some some uh, conversation about Ben Simmons and his uh, academic record earlier this year, and so it looks like it rears his ugly head again. Word on the street is this dude has a 1.8 GPA. You have to have a 2.0 to be a finalist for the Wooden Award, and so he's not a finalist. And is it a big deal or not? I don't even know if it's a big deal because, like I said in the last segment, and you're listening to the Doug True Show, dude wasn't – I mean, he didn't come to college to play or or to to go to class. I mean, clearly he didn't. And if he wanted to go to class and if he wanted to excel in class, um, he could have. And he probably doesn't care. Uh, this is a situation where if the rules were like they were 20 years ago, he'd be in the NBA right now. <laughs> you know, he'd be, you know, I don't know maybe if he'd be the first pick in the draft, but he probably would have been a top three, four pick uh, based on all of the conversation of him coming out of high school. So I don't know. I'm not really mad at dude. 
It would be very hard for me to focus as well on my academics if I knew in a couple of months that I'd be a multimillionaire. If I knew that in a couple of months I would sign some type of shoe deal for a gazillion dollars. You know, if I knew in the back of my mind the only reason that I'm here is because they made me because of these rules. Someone said it earlier, and you're listening to the Doug Stewart Show, that uh, Ben Simmons should have just went overseas. And you remember Brandon Jennings did the same thing, and I think he's probably been like one of the only players, oh, the kid that got drafted this past year by the by the Nuggets did the same thing as well. So there's only been a, a couple of guys that have foregone college and just went straight, you know, international basketball, went overseas, made some money, and then put their name in the draft. Um, and I guess he didn't want to do that. Maybe he wanted to to experience the college, uh, the college life, you know, for a minute, but I'm not making excuses for him, and I wish all young men would take the opportunity uh, to 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 you know take advantage of the opportunity that they've been given to to go to college and and broaden their horizons and learn and become smarter and become better. But really, to be honest with you, I really can't be mad at dude. We don't know if this has more so to do with the fact that he can't focus than the fact that he can't excel, he can't do it. The fact that he's in college shows that he can and he should be there. You know, they just don't let you in the college. You have to make certain SAT scores. You have to have a certain academic uh, record as well. So he's in college. Clearly he can do the work if he put his mind to it. It's got to be very, very tough to focus, though. 404-382-0338. What do you think about that uh, as well? Let me read some of your chat here in the uh, chat room on the Doug Stewart Show.com. From Cleotus, a.k.a. Mr. Anderson. Uh, eight, what is he doing it right? Writing his name on the paper and leaving class. He's an athlete, star athlete. I blame the coach for not getting him the answer to every last test at LSU. Come on, bruh. Now you're talking about a cheating scandal. Come on, man. Now I hear where you're coming from. And once again, this whole thing is a charade. <laughs> this whole thing is a charade. And we've talked about this before. Why would you make these kids go to college if they don't want to? Like, in no other facet of life in the workplace, whereas if you're qualified to do a job and you're over 18 years of age, a company can't hire you. You know, because like it makes no sense the rationale behind making these kids go to college for a year because you got to remember there's two sides to the story. Yeah, it's a side where the athlete wants to go to the NBA, but the other side of the story is the team has to draft them. And if you're t- and people always forget about this side of it. If you're a team in the NBA and you don't feel like Ben Simmons is good enough for you to draft or to play in the NBA, then don't draft him. If a team drafts him, he belongs. If a team wants to hire you, then you belong in the NBA. It's as simple as that. Okay? Why is it any different than any other you know, facet of life in this country as far as the workplace is concerned? If a company feels like, even if you didn't go to college, okay, if you're 18 years old, and you're good at computers. You're home trained. You, you're, you're self-trained in computers and, and programming or whatever. You don't have to have a degree. And a company says, you know, they give you some type of little test to see what your skill set is. You pass the test, i.e., you do great in high school basketball in the comparison. And they decide to hire you for their company, Okay. You didn't go to some secondary school. You didn't go to college. You didn't go to, 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 to grad school or anything. But they decide. They think that you can help them as an organization. They can hire you. There's no law against that. Why is there a law against it in sports? Why is there a law against it in the NBA? It really makes no sense at all when you think of it. I mean, it's really dumb. You know, you're not forcing a team to draft Ben Simmons and you're listening to the Doug Stewart show. They're on their own free will and accord to draft anybody that they want to. You know, back in the day when KG came out, Tracy McGrady, uh, Kobe Bryant, and they did pretty damn well. You know, why is it? (laughs) Why is it? Why is it okay for cats to go straight out of high school in baseball you know, in tennis, you can be 15 years old and play professional tennis. In golf, you know, and we've had this debate more, uh, many, many times before. 
You know, why is it okay in hockey, in baseball, in golf, and, you know, wh- why is it okay? What's the difference? Huh? You're saving the teams from themselves. What do you mean you're saving the teams from themselves? You mean to tell me we're saving professional teams, uh, organizations, and billionaires? We're trying to save them? Seriously? Really? Huh? Come on, man. Come on, man. (laughs) Yeah. In golf and tennis, you can be 13 years old. How old was Michelle Wee when she became uh, pro? I think Michelle Wee was like 14 or 15 years old. What's the difference? What's the difference? There is no difference. Okay? There is no difference. From Gary G. Munner Joyner. It made me sick to see two CNN reporters. I say that loosely, smiling about how great Peyton Manning was, never mentioning his negatives. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's some negatives to Peyton Manning. I mentioned him uh, a little bit earlier in today's show. From Uncle Mike, corporate brother, when I got my first report card, I didn't recognize half the classes. From that ninja, young girls 11 and 12 and 13 training for the Olympics year round, and nobody screams about, let's protect them. Exactly. And that's that, that whole, I talked about how there's this sentiment out there that we're going to pr- protect the owners from themselves. What? These are smart businessmen. We're going to protect the kid. And the other side of it is we're going to protect the kid from himself. What? Don't protect me. You know? Now, whether the kid has, has good, uh, a good, a good team surrounding him as far as his parents and, and friends of the family or whatever is, is, is a different situation. That's, that's a different conversation. Uh, we don't know, but you can't restrict somebody. You shouldn't be able to restrict somebody from going out and making a living if a company wants to hire him. The NBA is a company. These teams are companies. If they want to go out and hire whoever the hell they want, that's their business. It makes no sense at all. It makes absolutely no sense at all. From Sluggle, he said, where is the free market crowd when it comes to the NBA? If the kids aren't good enough, they won't be drafted. They don't give a damn about these kids. Yeah, hey, we, we, we're, we're kind of looking out for the kid by making him go to college. The man don't want to go to college. <laughs> and I say the man and talking about Ben Simmons. But when you were 17, 18 years old, you had the ability to decide whether you wanted to go to college or not. And if you decided not to go to college, you had the ability to go into the military. That's a job. You're getting paid for that. And in effect, when you go into the military, you're putting your life on the line. So you're, you're able to go and choose to go into the military. They are, are, are able to hire you as an 18-year-old, and you're putting your life on the line. It's okay for that, but we're going to protect these kids. We're going to protect these guys from going into the NBA and making millions of dollars. We're not going to protect them in, 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 in the conversation when you talk about the conversation. We're not going to protect them. We're actually going to put them in harm's way if we get into some type of international conflict and put them on the front lines as an 18-year-old. But we're going to protect these kids from making millions of dollars playing a game. GTFOH. GTFOH. A lot of them. A lot of them. GTFOH. Just stop it. If I was Ben Simmons, I'll stop right now. I'll quit right now. Matter of fact, if I was him, I probably would have went the Brandon Jennings way. We care about you. They care about the kids. Man, shut up. That's a damn lie. So it's okay to have a kid, you know, go out there and put shingles on a roof at 18 and to be okay. That's legal. But we're going to stop grown-ass men, millionaires, billionaires from making a business decision with their money. I know they're part of a league, but it's their money. And clearly they're intelligent to amass the fortunes that they have. And you're going to tell an 18-year-old kid that he can't go out and get millions of dollars if a team elects to draft him. Nobody's forcing these teams to draft these kids. It's their decision. These are grown-ass men. And by the law, when you're 18, you're a grown-ass man because, once again, you can go and fight and die for this country. 
but we're going to protect you from yourself. Man, I'm so... Woosa. Woosa. And this is why you need the Doug Stewart Show, man. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. All right, when we get back from the break, man, hour number two of the Doug Stewart Show, we'll continue to keep it real. Don't go away. What is ID Life? Well, over the last 18 years, a group of scientists and doctors have been working on the development of a one of a kind nutritional supplement program that takes all the guesswork out of what you need and delivers your truly personalized pharmaceutical grade nutrition with your name on it directly to your door. Through the integration of thousands of medical and scientific studies, answers you provide to the free assessment and more than 5,470 algorithms that process the data. ID Nutrition recommends what you need, leaves out what you don't, and blocks things known to the system that have possible adverse effects based on the answers you provide. The result is a program that is revolutionizing the health and wellness industry. Welcome to ID Life. For more information, just go to the thedougstewartshow.idlife.com. That's the thedougstewartshow.idlife.com. Do you have your own radio show? Are you an artist or a DJ? BB Mobile Apps is the solution for you. They specialize in creating mobile apps for entertainers. That's right. You can have your own mobile app where your followers can hear your shows or music, watch your videos, and view all your social networks in one place. You can even make money with banner ads and send push notifications directly to your audience to make sure they get your messages. Everyone has their phones on them, right? A mobile app will add credibility to your brand because your content will be accessible to them while they're on the go. BV Mobile Apps also makes apps for bloggers, actors, and producers. The process only takes about 20 minutes. Just go to bvmobileapps.com and click Get Started Now. That's bvmobileapps.com and tell them the Doug Stewart Show sent you. At Ticket Liquidator, we believe you should have access to the experiences you want to be a part of. Since 2003, Ticket Liquidator has been connecting buyers and sellers with the most sought after and often sold out events across the country. Ticket Liquidator's nationwide network is you access to one of the largest online inventories of sports, theater, and concert tickets with prices lower than most companies in other markets. And our security policies are solid, so you can buy with absolute confidence. More tickets, better service, and lower prices. So you can witness the best entertainment, culture, and sports events worldwide. At Ticket Liquidator, we know that seeing a legend bring down the house or watching your team win the championship is about more than a ticket. It's about being there. For all your sports and entertainment ticket needs, call us at 855-638-3034. Again, that's 855-638-3034. Hour number two of the Doug Stewart Show, baby. Yes, sir. Welcome back to the Doug Stewart Show. It's a man talk Monday. Ballers and busters, game balls and goats. Buster award to the NCAA, man. Buster award to the NBA. For this charade of protecting these kids from themselves, allegedly, or whatever. I'm not going to get my pressure up no more about it. I'm not going to get my pressure no more, you know, up no more about it. <laughs> I mean, you can look at the list. The The crazy thing is they would point to, and you're listening to the Doug Stewart show, they would point to like one or two guys that came out of high school and say this is why we shouldn't do this. The Corleone Youngs of the world. You remember that name? The kid, the high school kid played at this military academy, came out. And I don't even think he made the NBA. But for every Coleon Young you give me, I'll give you a Kevin Garnett. You know, for every other kid that was drafted out of high school and didn't have success, I'll give you a Kobe Bryant or a Tracy McGrady. All right? Uh, so, so don't give me that crap. <laughs> don't give me that crap, that BS story about we're trying to protect the kids. 
That's some hogwash. Um, this weekend, uh, Conor McGregor, who was supposed to be the bee's knees in, in UFC, he got his freaking ass kicked by Nate Diaz. Choked out in the second round. <laughs> and I'm laughing because I'm not a fan. You know why I'm not a fan of them cats like that, man? And he's Irish. And I guess I'm kind of biased against Irish fighters because when we were uh, still doing the two live shows, <laughs> and I'm wrong, I'm probably wrong on this, that I hate the whole Irish community, the whole Irish uh, fight, 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 uh, fight person or whatever. But when we were still doing the two live shows, we went to the Ricky Hatton Floyd Mayweather fight in Las Vegas. When I tell you, the entire country is a, is a, yeah the entire country of of Ireland was at this fight in Vegas, <laughs> and let me tell you something about my Irish brethren. And you're listening to the Doug Stewart Show. Let me tell you something about my I- Irish brethren. They talk more cash ish than most brothers you will find anywhere in this country's on the streets. And oh my gosh! Now it wasn't it wasn't as contentious a situation as it was contentious a situation as it was when me and Ryan went to uh, Philadelphia when the Falcons played the Eagles up there where we literally thought we were going to lose our lives. It was a good chance that we were going to die at the veteran at, at Veteran Stadium. Um, but man, in Vegas the weekend that, that Floyd Mayweather fought Ricky Hat man, um, and you know. I mean, it's a stereotype. I don't even know if it's true or not. Okay? I don't even know if it's true. I'm not going to even say it. As a matter of fact, I'm glad I thought about it for a second. But let's just put it like this. Our Irish brethren, they get loose. You know? They get loose. Let's just put it like that. And in Vegas, they're they're in the casino in Vegas for Ricky Hatton and Floyd Mayweather. And let's just say there's a gazillion Irish fight fans there supporting Ricky Hatton. And they are loose 24-7 in the casino, in the hotel. <laughs> so they screaming, they spitting, and they chanting. And, you know, uh, obviously, I guess they, all, they they almost try to peg it as this black thing against the Irish thing. And so a lot of times they see me in the casino, and they say, Who you going for, mate? And uh, maybe that's a, that's an Australian accent. <laughs> But that's the best one I can do. Who are you going for, mate? Uh, well, I'm not going for anybody, but I think Floyd Mayweather's going to kick Ricky Hatton's ass. What? The, what did you say? I'll kill you right here. I'll fight you right here. I'll fight for Ireland. Man, you ain't going to fight for no damn Ireland. You better get the hell up out of my face with all of that. <laughs> I don't care if you got a big ass head and red hair and a red beard. I don't care about none of that. You better back up off me, Jack. And so, so yeah, man. After the fight was over, and you're listening to the Doug Stewart show, and I'm going a long way to tell you about Nate McGregor or Nate Diaz kicking uh, Conor McGregor's ass. But after the fight, when Floyd dominated, and I think he knocked Hatton out. After the fight, the crowd once again, the crowd. Like, they must have went and just scalped all of the damn tickets or whatever. It was 80% cr- the crowd in Vegas. What was that? The Mandalay Bay or or one of them the, the casinos. But 80% of the crowd was, and that's usually, usually the, the crowd is always against Mayweather. So this wasn't that much of a difference. But the crowd was overwhelmingly, overwhelmingly written Ricky Hatton. And there was a couple of fights that happened in the stands. And after the fight was over and, and Hatton got dominated, like, we felt kind of uneasy that somebody was going to try to start something with us. So we kind of, like, got ushered out of the back door. <laughs> right. Because we were cheering. We were cheering. And everybody could see who was cheering for, for Floyd Mayweather because there weren't that many Floyd Mayweather, you know, fans in the stadium, in, in the arena that night. And so it was very kind of... We felt some type of way. Like, we needed to just slunk out of here. We need to just kind of, like, ease on out of here because these cats have been drinking all night long. They mad that guy got their ass kicked. And so we've been talking a lot of trash. Clearly, we were rooting for Floyd Mayweather Jr. We don't want another Philadelphia, 
you know, sports fan type situation here with the two lives too. So we kind of slunk out. So McGregor has to tap out this weekend. He gets his ass kicked. And also Holly Holm loses to Maisha Tate. Um, she gets uh, – she has to tap out as well. I don't know if she actually tapped out or she just they, – they, they called it off. And I'm guessing she had to tap out because it was by submission hole uh, in the fifth round. She was actually, based on the card, she was winning the fight until the very end. So basically Holly Holmes is Buster Douglas. You remember, you remember Buster Douglas did the unthinkable and beating Mike Tyson? And then – uh, did he win or did he lose? Did he lose his next fight? If it wasn't his next fight, it was one of the fights here after or quickly after. Um, so you know, fifteen minutes of fame is gone. It's a wrap. I saw a story. I think the Puppet Factory reported this, and you're listening to the Two Live uh, to the Doug Stewart Show, one half of the Two Live Shows. Uh, I think the Puppet Factory gave. A parlay. If you would have bet the Lakers to beat Golden State, which which statistically was the biggest upset in basketball history, which is crazy. I think the Lakers or, or the or the Warriors were an 18 point favorite, and they ended up losing by 17. Um, but if you would have bet the Lakers to beat the Warriors, if you would have bet Nate Diaz to beat Conor McGregor, and Maisha Tate to beat uh, Holly Holmes. If you would have put down $100, I think, you would have won 45000 Are you freaking kidding me? 45000 So it was that type of weekend in the world of sports and entertainment. Yeah. Big time weekend in the world of sports. Big time upsets this past weekend. Uh, for Brian Hill, he says, Holly got hurt, got heart. She refused to tap. Okay, so she didn't tap out. From Jeff Scrivener, Buster Douglas came into his next fight looking like Buster Rhymes. Laugh out loud. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, from RC, I'm going to say it now. The atmosphere atmosphere for Ward Kovalov will be similar to Mayweather Hatton or Holmes Cooney. Ooh. Yeah, I can remember Holmes Cooney when I was a young boy. And, you know, it was this whole great white hype uh, storyline and narrative to these type of fights. Um, that was big. Holmes and Cooney. Everybody in America thought Holmes was going to lose to Jerry freaking Cooney. GTFOH. <laughs> GTFOH. Come on, man. From Loose Neck to Max Psy. Doug did one of his urban accents. <laughs> I wasn't sure if that was Australian or Irish. I mean, they're damn near the same thing to me. From Coop, Doug is an equal opportunity bigot when it comes to mixing the Irish with the English. <laughs> I'm not a bigot. I'm not mixing anybody, okay? Um, that's just a fact, okay? It, the, the point is, of telling that story about Ricky Hatton and Floyd Mayweather, is overwhelmingly the support is for the underdog Irish guy, okay? <laughs> overwhelmingly, and, it, and, and their fans come out in mass, mass support. And usually, nine times out of ten, they actually did a movie about it called The Great White Hype. Usually, you know, uh, the Irish guy is getting his ass kicked seemingly. <laughs> In a big time fight. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying, man. Um, from Lost to Holyfield, or from Bootsy, he says Lost to Holyfield, I think. Uh, from Sluggo, yep, I felt the same way when Floyd fought De La Hoya. We just eased out. Oscar had a gang of folks from East L.A. Yeah. Was we, were we at the fight when Mayweather fought De La Hoya? I believe we were. We had to have been. I mean, that's when Sugar was falling from the sky for the stews. Um, so I'm not sure. I think we were. And, yeah, there's a huge contingency. Like, like they're, they're raving, crazy-type fans, you know, that support um, – Floyd Mayweather or, or, or Ricky Hatton and Conor McGregor uh, and Oscar De La, De La Hoya. Like, their fan base and the Mexican fight fan and the Irish fight fans are just rabid. And seemingly, once again, and you're listening to the Doug Stewart Show, seemingly in these type of scenarios that I can remember, uh, just a lot of fluff. Just a lot of fluff. You talk about fluff around Ricky Hatton. 
I mean, you ask anybody, you ask nine out of ten people who was going to win that fight. <laughs> you know, Hatton or Mayweather. I promise you, I promise you at the time we could go back in time, like one of those old you know, time capsules or whatever, and you ask people, did Ricky Hatton have a chance? Would he win that fight? Overwhelmingly, overwhelmingly, they would have been like, not only does he have a chance to win, he should win. He's going to beat Floyd Mayweather. Yeah, whatever. Let your heart get in the way of your damn pocket in your wallet. <laughs> yeah. GTFOH. All right, we get back from the break, man. Um, we'll do some entertainment. Talk about some birthdays. Um, and we'll talk about Roddy White, man. Roddy not going to hold his tongue for too many people. He's he's been that type of player, and he's had that type of uh, he's had that type of uh, uh, reputation. And Roddy's not going to hold his tongue for for too many people or too many situations. So he's talking about Shanahan, Kyle Shanahan for the Atlanta Falcons, the offensive coordinator. We'll talk about that. We'll quickly do some birthdays, a little enterta- entertainment as well. This is the Doug Stewart Show, Sports Talk with Hot Sauce, Texas Pete Hot Sauce. Don't go away. At Ticket Liquidator, we believe you should have access to the experiences you want to be a part of. Since 2003, Ticket Liquidator has been connecting buyers and sellers with the most sought after and often sold out events across the country. Ticket Liquidator's nationwide network is you access to one of the largest online inventories of sports, theater, and concert tickets with prices lower than most companies in other markets. And our security policies are solid, so you can buy with absolute confidence. More tickets, better service, and lower prices. So you can witness the best entertainment, culture, and sports events worldwide. At Ticket Liquidator, we know that seeing a legend bring down the house or watching your team win the championship is about more than a ticket. It's about being there. For all your sports and entertainment ticket needs, call us at 855-638-3034. Again, that's 855 855- 638-3034. Fantasy sports fans are winning huge cash prizes every day at DraftKings.com, America's favorite place to play daily fantasy sports. Daily fantasy means no season-long commitments. Play whenever you want. Just pick your sport and draft your team. It's like a new season every time you play, so you're never stuck with the same players. Last year, $300 million were won at DraftKings.com, and you could be next to win big. Go to DraftKings.com now and enter promo code STU to play for free. That's STU for free entry now at DraftKings.com. Also, if you use promo code STU, DraftKings will match your initial deposit up to $600. Deposit $600, play with $1,200. DraftKings.com, promo code STU. This is your folk, Doug Stewart. Want to protect you and your family from life's unexpected mishaps? Then join Seven. Join Seven is a prepaid legal company under the umbrella of the Protection Group. Join Seven is the only group benefit or motor club in the U.S. that offers auto reimbursement coverage, key replacement coverage, roadside assistance, gives you a current metafile, prescription savings, and fully encompassed prepaid legal benefits that include identity theft. They got your back. The average combined cost to purchase these benefits individually is over $850 a year. Join today and take advantage of all seven for $17 a month. They've been around for over 20 years, so check them out by clicking on the banner link on my page, the DougStewartShow.com, or the app. Just go ahead and join seven. Welcome back to the Doug Stewart Show. Man Talk Monday, ballers and busters. Thank you for tuning in to the show. Shouts out to all of the Stewies. I appreciate it. All right, and thank you for correcting your boy. Ricky Hatton actually is an Irish. <laughs> He's from the UK. I guess I should have said European. Uh, but yeah, Ricky Hatton isn't actually Irish. He's not from Ireland. He's from the UK. Same damn thing, Europeans. 
Um, the number to the show is 404-382-0338. You can also email me at Doug, the Doug Show.com. This segment is brought to you by my folks from Strickland Security. That's right. Strickland Security, man, has over 55 years combined experience in the business. Um, they're not going to try to upsell you. That's the big thing is they're going to take care of you. If you just need your alarm system fixed, Strickland Security can do it. If you need a basic alarm system starting at just $15, uh, Strickland Security got you. Or you might need a big boy alarm system with all the lights and cameras and all of that stuff, bells and whistles and all of that, man. My folks at Strickland Security are some of the best in the business. If you live in Metro Atlanta, just give them a, a shot. You know, maybe you're just displeased with the service, uh, the customer service that you're getting from your alarm system company. Holla at my folks at Strickland Security. Go online to StricklandSecurity.com. That's StricklandSecurity.com. Coming up in about 15 minutes, we're going to replay an interview from my folk, Dr. Sean T. Hill, uh, talking about ID Life. Anything, you might have heard me talking about ID Life over the last couple of weeks, um, and you want to hear it from the horse's mouth about the company and about its products. This is a great, great way to find out everything you need to know about ID Life. We're actually going to talk to Dr. Sean T. Hill again tomorrow on the other aspect of it. We've been really focusing on the products uh, the supplements, uh, the nutrition, the health and wellness aspect of the company uh, as being sponsors of the Doug Stewart Show. Tomorrow, we're going to talk to Dr. Sean T. Hill about the business opportunity. That's right. It's a network marketing company, man. Um, and uh, it's, it's got some uh, some great, great possibilities as far as a business for you. Uh, so make sure you stay tuned to that interview coming up and tomorrow with Dr. Sean T. Hill, Executive Director of ID Life. Let's talk a little bit of entertainment news. <laughs> Celebrating her 52nd birthday today is comedian Wanda Sykes. I think Wanda Sykes is funny. I think she's a good comedian. Um, she was married, which, which this I didn't know. She was married to a record producer for eight years, and after a divorce, she came out as a lesbian. Uh, things that make you go, hmm. <laughs> How does that happen? I didn't even know she had kids. She has a son named Lucas and a daughter named Olivia. Wow. Did y'all know that Wanda Sykes was married? Did y'all know that she had kids? Do you know that she kicked out a couple of kids from her JJ? I didn't know that her JJ swung that type of, uh, or, or, that, or that direction. But anyway, happy birthday to Wanda Sykes, 52 years old today. Happy birthday to her. Wow. How do you feel if you, <laughs> how do you feel if you're her ex-husband? Damn, dude, she was so sick of men that she, she decided just to mess with women. Alrighty then. Celebrating his 66th birthday today, man, is former running back for the Pittsburgh Steelers, the great Franco Harris. Franco is 66 years old. Nine-time Pro Bowl running back. Four-time Super Bowl champion for the Pittsburgh Steelers in the 70s. Yes, sir. From my childhood. He retired with 12,120 yards and 100 touchdowns exactly. I didn't realize Franco had 100 touchdowns, man. Triple digit touchdowns. Um, speaking of the Pittsburgh Steelers, his former teammate, the great Lynn Swan, turned 66 years old today. Happy birthday to the great Lynn Swan. You know, we've been talking, uh, and you're listening to the Doug Stewart Show. We were talking, or we have been talking about Terrell Owens and Marvin Harrison, you know, with the whole Hall of Fame conversation that went on a couple of weeks ago. Um, and Marvin Harrison and T.O. have well over 100 plus touchdowns. Terry Bradshaw, or I'm sorry, Lynn Swan, uh, Terry Bradshaw was his quarterback. Lynn Swan only has 51 receiving touchdowns for his career and is in the Hall of Fame. Now, a lot of people are talk about, you know, Lynn Swan stats weren't. You know, they, they they weren't that of a of a Hall of Fame type wide receiver, but you gotta remember, I keep reminding y'all, and we got a couple of uh 
you know, cats that listen to the show, a couple of greenhorns under the age of 30. The game was much different back then. The game was much different back then. And so, hey, Lin Swan was that dude back in the day. He was a big name. He made dynamic catches. And he was part of the Super Bowl uh, winning organization in the Pittsburgh Steelers of the 70s. Um, last story. This is an entertainment story. And you're listening to the Doug Stewart Show. Your boy Marshall Mathers is going to redo. Or I, 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 what's the word they use for it? Ooh. When they bring it back out, when they bring back out a CD, that's a term that they use for it where they bring it back up um, and they make it better. You know, they digitally mastered. Right. He's going to bring back digitally mastered, which is kind of crazy. Um, the Marshall Mathers LP, the Slim Shady LP, back from 1999 when it first came out. So I don't know if digitally mastered is the right term to use for it, but he's bringing it back out, but he's going to bring it back out on cassette. And if you didn't know and doing some research about this story, you know, evidently vinyl is making a comeback. Um, and also cassettes are kind of making a comeback. Like, how is that going to work when the auto dealers aren't building cassette tapes in cars anymore? Are they? They aren't cassette tapes. I got to go and look at my damn car. I got a fairly new car. They aren't building cars with cassette tapes. Uh, with some cassette players in them anymore, are they? So I thought that was kind of strange, but uh, kind of like a uh, a nostalgia type thing. So they're going to bring back the Slim Shady LP from 1999, but they're going to put it on cassette tape. Interesting stuff. So there goes uh, uh, some of the birthdays and news and notes from the world of entertainment on the Doug Stewart Show. Yeah, I don't know how that's going to work out. You know, the cool hippie kids, they always think that vinyl is cool. Uh, nobody else is using vinyl. Uh, so they got, there was a, uh, or they, they probably still is. There's a spot in downtown, downtown ATL called Earwax. Like, I don't know if Earwax, and they were, that was their big thing, is that they had a lot of vinyl. Where everybody else is going to CDs. <laughs> this is, I'm, I'm thinking back to 10, 15 years ago. Uh, when everybody was still using CDs before downloading or whatever. You know, Earwax had a big... You know, supply of vinyl, uh, which was the, the way that we listened to music back when I was a kid, like in the 70s. And then that went away and that gave way to cassette tapes Then cassette tapes. You know, they gave way to CDs and then CDs gave way to to downloading today and the way that uh, it's done in 2016. So very uh, interesting little information right there from the world of uh, entertainment. Wanda, Wanda Sykes actually liked dudes before. Good for her. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. I mentioned at the top of the show, when you're listening to the Doug Stewart Show, I mentioned at the top of the show <laughs> that uh, I'm caught up on The Walking Dead, man. We've done it before many, many times. Maybe not many times. We've done it at least one time here on this show. And I'm sure we did it with the two live shoes where I give you my top five TV series of all times. Big TV guy. I've seen pretty much all the the TV shows that get a lot of recognition as being one of the best ever. I've seen them all. Okay? Or like 98% of them. <laughs> um, the Walking Dead is damn good, man. I mean, I think it might even crack my top five. So I'm caught up. I binge watched it over the last week and a half, two weeks. Phenomenal TV show. And here's the thing about The Walking Dead. If you're like me, when you first heard about the series and the and kind of what it was about, you were like, I'm not watching no damn show about no zombies. So I kind of like, I missed out on it for the first couple of years. And for some reason, one night, you know, they show it over and over repeats. I says, man, let me watch this thing. And after about two or three episodes, absolutely hooked. Filmed here in Metro Atlanta. Phenomenal TV show. Phenomenal writing. Phenomenal storyline. I mean, just, just incredibly well done. And so I'm caught up, man. What are your thoughts on The Walking Dead? Shoot me, <laughs> hit me in the, uh, the Spreaker chat uh, or email me at Doug at the Doug Show.com, man. Phenomenal TV series. All right, when we get back from the break, an interview I did with Dr. Sean T. Hill about ID Life. Stay tuned. All right, just stay tuned. Great, great information. You don't want to miss it. I'm telling y'all, man, I feel great. 
I feel better than I ever have in my in my lifetime, probably. And a lot of it's got to do with ID Life, man, and this program. Don't go away. Great interview coming up with the Doug Stewart Show. Fantasy sports fans are winning huge cash prizes every day at DraftKings.com, America's favorite place to play daily fantasy sports. Daily fantasy means no season-long commitments. Play whenever you want. Just pick your sport and draft your team. It's like a new season every time you play, so you're never stuck with the same players. Last year, $300 million were won at DraftKings.com, and you could be next to win big. Go to DraftKings.com now and enter promo code STU to play for free. That's Stu for free entry now at DraftKings.com. Also, if you use promo code Stu, DraftKings will match your initial deposit up to $600. Deposit $600, play with $1,200. DraftKings.com, promo code Stu. Do you have your own radio show? Are you an artist or a DJ? BB Mobile Apps is the solution for you. They specialize in creating mobile apps for entertainers. That's right. You can have your own mobile app where your followers can hear your shows or music, watch your videos, and view all your social networks in one place. You can even make money with banner ads and send push notifications directly to your audience to make sure they get your messages. Everyone has their phones on them, right? A mobile app will add credibility to your brand because your content will be accessible to them while they're on the go. BB Mobile Apps also makes apps for bloggers, actors, and producers. The process only takes about 20 minutes. Just go to bbmobileapps.com and click Get Started Now. That's bbmobileapps.com and tell them the Doug Stewart Show sent you. This is your folk, Doug Stewart. Want to protect you and your family from life's unexpected mishaps? Then join Seven. Join Seven is a prepaid legal company under the umbrella of the Protection Group. Join Seven is the only group benefit or motor club in the U.S. that offers auto reimbursement coverage, key replacement coverage, roadside assistance, gives you a current metafile, prescription savings, and fully encompassed prepaid legal benefits that include identity theft. They got you back. The average combined cost to purchase these benefits individually is over $850 a year. Join today and take advantage of all seven for $17 a month. They've been around for over 20 years, so check them out by clicking on the banner link on my page, thedougstewartshow.com, or the app. Just go ahead and join seven. Welcome back to Stewart Media and Entertainment. I'm your host, Doug Stewart, and uh, I've been talking about it all day long, but we're really going to get into it now, man. Um, ID Life, Stewart Media and Entertainment has entered into a partnership with ID Life, and what is ID Life, you might ask? ID Life is a health and wellness uh, company committed to custom and individually designed products for you. I've been, in effect, sampling the products for the last couple of months. I've been in staunch negotiations with my man on the line right now about partnering up with him and the company. Uh, speaking of which, joining me right now is Sean T. Hill, uh, Dr. Sean T. Hill on the Stewart Media and Entertainment Network. Sean, how you doing today? Uh, incredibly blessed by the best, man. Very excited. Yeah, very excited. Uh, brief little background. Sean and I actually went to school together at South Carolina State University. He's actually... A fraternity brother. He's actually my line brother. We did that back in 1990, the spring of 1990. Great guy, uh, great business mind. And so when he approached me a couple of months ago about ID Life, um, I had a lot of questions. And I'm, we're going to get a lot of those questions answered for my listeners today. Um, I wanted to check out the product. Uh, I wanted to get more information about the company. And I'm happy to say, man, I absolutely love the product. Sean, I, I kind of mentioned it just now, what I think ID Life is. In your words, tell my listeners, what is ID Life? It's a movement. It's a movement. I mean, individually designed life is what it stands for. We should be living the life that we want, not the one that we settle for. We deserve to be healthy. And what we're doing is we're helping people get healthier through customized nutrition and products that have great quality ingredients that are good for us. You, you just mentioned customized nutrition. That's a big part. 
of ID Life. Go into that a little bit more about customized nutrition. As a matter of fact, we call it ID Nutrition. It's the only truly customized pharmaceutical grade nutritional product available today. And its greatest strength is that everything recommended and its dosages are backed by over 7,500 independent scientific medical journals. And it's contained within a free 25 to 28 question assessment, which is HIPAA compliant, meaning that no one sees it but the computer. And so what you're doing is you're simply letting the, the system know things like your height, your weight, allergies, history of family illness, dietary patterns, lifestyle, sleep, if you like tasty beverages, if you smoke, if you're stressed out, if your energy is low, aches and pains, medical conditions, medications, and then it gives you an immediate report. And I'm sure you, when you took yours, when you took your assessment, you saw at least one change you could make today that would make a difference in your health and your quality of life. And it's all evidence-based. It's backed by research that you can Google and you can find those studies on the Internet. It's, and it, all, it not only shares what we should have and why we should have it, but it blocks everything that we shouldn't have. As a matter of fact, a good friend of mine, his mom was a smoker. And when, when she was, went to the doctor and they were trying to give us some supplemental care, they, they, they recommended beta carotene. Now, what they found out was beta carotene and smokers does not mix. It makes matters worse. And so, you know, that's the thing that we enjoyed about it. It was not only does it give, it give us what we need, it blocks what we shouldn't get. And instead of having 100 bottles in a cabinet collecting dust, I think everybody has that dust collecting bottle cabinet, you get about a 30-day supply in strip packs. And right. it's separated by what you should take in the, in the morning and what you should take in the evening. Like a lot of people take omega-3 pills because they want the fish oil. And they take it in the morning because mom took it in the morning, dad took it in the morning, grandma and granddad did. But your body doesn't really break that thing down until the p.m. And so that's what your strips would indicate. It's called chronobiology. And then you get pure ingredients. It gives you a natural cleanse. And, again, we don't have to starve ourselves and feel terrible to get healthy. I mean, you know, I, I don't need to be skinny. <laughs> right, right. I need, I need to be healthy. And and so and everything is so cost effective. I mean, when you take your assessment, you see all these different things that they're recommending, but then you're blown away because like you know, on average you're seeing our customers, our personal customers, between forty five and seventy five dollars. And it'll be a lot more if they went to the vitamin store. And lastly, you'd be amazed at what youthful tendencies you discover when our bodies, you know, on our insides are healthy again. And, and that's all I'll say about that. Yeah, talking to uh, Sean T. Hill right now on the Doug Stewart Show on the Stewart Media and Entertainment Network. That was one of the big things that kind of attracted me to the company and made sense. Individualized nutrition, people are different, body types are different, and so that made perfect sense. Why do we need supplements, Sean? Well, according to the for former Surgeon General, Dr. C. Everett Koo, over 2.4 million deaths that occurred in the U.S. each year, 75 of those are a result of avoidable nutritional factor diseases. The proper nutrition may be the difference for uh, 1.8 million every year. 1,800,000 people could have possibly avoided death had they had different nutritional factors. And so we're focused on helping everyone get better. And another reason is to put the food back into the food, Doug. I mean, my grandma's from South Carolina. Even though I'm a Brooklyn boy, my grandma's from Sycamore, South Carolina. Mm -hmm. Don't look for it. You're not going to find it. <laughs> right. And, but, but growing up, you know, we, we saw crops growing up yeah. when we went to visit grandma. And now the crops are gone because more and more food is being genetically modified. It's being made in the labs. They're, they're pumping right. our stuff up. I, I know everybody saw the salmon study race recently where the salmon now is one and a half size greater because they're, they're pumping with stuff. And, and they're shipping it over, and now they're not even telling us what, which one is the good salmon and which one is the new super salmon, if you will. Right. And so, you know, you got these unnatural diets. Like I was saying earlier, our bodies are machines. They're meant to eat to be healthy. Skinny's not necessarily healthy. In my old neighborhood, people smoked crack and got skinny. That's, that doesn't mean we need to do it. <laughs> right. And, 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 and most importantly, Doug. The guy at the supplement store knows nothing about you or me, but if we walk in at the same time, depending on what commission he's going to get, he's going to recommend the same thing to both of us. And I, ID Life says, you know what, one size does not fit all. Yeah, talking to uh, Sean T. Hill right now on the Doug Stewart Show on the Stewart Media and Entertainment Network. Speaking of which, everything that we're talking about right now, you can get all the details. They even gave me my own website. <laughs> I'm telling you. Go to the Doug Stewart Show dot dot com. Once again, that's the Doug Stewart Show dot dot com. They built me my own website. 
gave me all the information. All the information is there for you to see. So once again, the Doug Stewart Show dot idlife.com. Sean, are there any other products we should know about concerning ID Life? Oh, absolutely. We already talked. We have four product lines, as a matter of fact. We talked about ID Nutrition or Customized Nutrition. Uh, ID Transformation, it works perfectly with ID Nutrition because you're cleaning your insides out, but a lot of people are looking to get sexier as well. They want to get healthier, but they want to get sexier as well. And so uh, Jen Wiedestrom, personal trainer, star yeah. the biggest loser, she put together 28-day challenges to help us either lose weight. Some people just want to get more fit. Other people are already fit. They just want to improve their body's performance. And so we have products that help with appetite, energy, hydration, pre- and post-workouts. And, and the one I'm most excited about, we have a product that helps you sleep. Now, a lot of people say, well, I sleep all the time. No, you, you rest, but you don't really get rested. I don't know if you ever woke up and you were still tired. Yeah, well, yeah. It, this actual this actual uh, dissolvable strip, it dissolves on your tongue, something like a Listerine strip, and you get into that good sleep. And when you wake up, you're refreshed. And so, and, and here's the one thing that I tell everybody, try it, because all of our lines have a 30-day, no questions asked, money-back guarantee. Wow. Talking to uh, Sean T. Hill right now on the Doug Stewart Show on the Stewart Media and Entertainment and Network. Uh, we're talking about ID Life, man, the Doug Stewart Show and Stewart Media uh, has entered into a partnership with ID Life when, as well as Sean T. Hill. I've been using the products for the last couple of months, doing my research, finding out if I wanted to be down with ID Life, and I'm here to tell you I am, and I'm absolutely loving it. What makes these different from what's already out there, Sean, as far as nutrition products? Well, all, all the ID Life products are derived from natural and organic sources. I mean, it's all gluten free, soy free, hormone free, casein free, synthetic free, and GMO free. As a matter of fact, I only talked about two of the lines. We, I talked about a lot of products, but that was only two lines: ID Nutrition and ID Transformation. We also have a skincare line, and my wife's skin was already butter soft. But if there's any such thing as buttery softer, that's her skin now. And the kids line. I'm so impressed with the kids line because our children, if we're going to get healthy, it makes sense that our children get healthy as well. And so we have vitamins for the children. We have shakes for the children because it's the same shakes that we'll have, the protein shakes that we'll have. Our children don't need that much protein. We, and, and, and we have snack bars for him, her, and the children. And so we have a his bar, a her bar, and a kid's bar for those in-between snacks. But everything is derived from natural and organic sources, and not a lot of people can say that. Yeah, um, th th this is one of the big things, and I mentioned earlier how for many, many months we've been talking about the product. I've been trying slash testing the product over the last couple of months. You know, it's a very, very strong product, all right? Why did ID Life choose direct sales slash network marketing as the primary way to distribute it? Well, simply put, you can't put customized nutrition on a shelf. I mean, it, when you when you when you're looking at 7,500 different studies, 25 to 28 questions, I got a math background. That's 1.3 million different outcomes that you could possibly have. And on the other side of it, when when poll consumers had to admit that the main reason why they buy most things is a referral from a friend or a family member. Mm -hmm. We don't go to the movies unless somebody goes and braves it and comes out and tells us it's good. We very rarely go to a restaurant that nobody's talking about. And so referral-based business is the, I mean, it's the strongest type business that you're going to find anywhere. Now, what do you say to people like myself? Because once again, I had a lot of questions about the company, had a lot of questions about the product, and I'm sure my listeners do too. What do you say to people? I know what you said to me, but say it to my listeners. What do you say to okay. those people who are listening to the Doug Stewart Show right now who are kind of skeptical or leery when it comes to network marketing? Do your own research. So people that listen to you, they don't have to because you did enough research for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Trust me. Yeah, yeah. But when you do your own research, I mean, 22 countries and over $180 billion in annual sales happens just about every year. $35 billion of that is in the United States alone. That's how product is being moved. Out of the people that are doing direct selling, 2.4 million direct sellers earned upwards of $50,000 in the last year. 93% of current direct sellers reported earning income in the last 12 months. So people are making extra money. As a matter of fact, the median direct selling income was $6,200. And so I'll let everybody else teach you how to become a multi-gajillionaire. How about an extra $500 a month? I mean, what difference could happen if at the end of the month an extra $500 is coming in? Well, I'll tell you, 
some foreclosures might not have had to happen. Right. Now, that's, this is not my facts. I mean, you can research this as well. Some bankruptcies, I mean, it's a high percentage, but I'll just say some until you do your research. I mean, they, they would not have to happen. And most, 70% of the people that do network marketing earn income by investing 15 hours or less each week. And so it's not like a part-time job. On a part-time job, if they said, well, Doug, we only have 15 hours, you call them everything but their name. Right. Talking to uh, Sean Hill right now on the Doug Stewart Show. Sean, now, why are so many professionals and public figures attracted to the ID Life business opportunity? Once again, me and you went back and forth for months. One of the right. biggest reasons on why I felt comfortable in working with ID Life and taking the product, first of all, the products are great, but working with ID Life is some of the celebrities and some of the more well-known figures that are associated with the company as well. Talk about some of those people and about the relationships you have with them. Well, the, product is inc- the products are incredible. Uh, a lot of people that um, have, have used the product were excited and they told other people. And when professionals talk to other professionals, eventually it gets to the professionals that we know. And, I mean, again, referral of a friend. And so when Logan Stout, who's the CEO and founder of the company, he comes across a guy named Scott Unklebach who has this 17-year-old ID nutrition technology. And these guys have a conversation at the country club. Uh, they met through a, a prominent pastor. Now he's one of the chief investors in the company, Keith Kraft, out in Frisco, Texas. I mean, these conversations are happening with high-end people. And so when he took that information and he put it across like people like Ross Perot's son-in-law, who takes care of that whole parole thing going on where that billionaire can just run for president whenever he wants, right? And and, and Darren Deason. And these are people that you can research and find out the huge things that they're – these guys are billionaires. And so when people can join a company, which is a movement, and it's referred by somebody that already has credibility with them, and it's backed by millionaires and billionaires, things happen. Yeah, yeah. And some of the uh, celebrities, man, talk about some of those guys. Uh, a lot of people that everyone knows have joined <laughs> up and teamed up with ID Life. Talk about some of those guys. Yeah, when Troy Aikman saw it, when Logan Stout introduced it to Troy Aikman, he didn't want to just be a spokesperson. He wanted to be an investor. And so he's chief investor in the company, and uh, you'll see him all over everything. Jen Wiedemstrom that I, I mentioned earlier from The Biggest Loser, she didn't just want to be a trainer for the company. She wanted to actually make sure she was invested and wanted to have some say in the direction of where this 28-day challenge and all of the products line were, product lines were going. Athletes like Dominique Wilkins. I mean, as a matter of fact, funny story, my wife earned the position of senior director with ID Life. The same week, this other guy, somebody might know, uh, Shaquille O'Neal earned senior director as well. Wow. Now, my wife's about 5'2", five, 5'3", five, but, <laughs> you know, she earns the same position as the giant. And now, with, I mean, the, the, the biggest name of them all, Doug Stewart on board. Yeah. God's limit at this point. <laughs> finishing, up, finishing up with Sean T. Hill right now on the Doug Stewart Show on the Stewart Media and Entertainment Network talking about ID Life. If you want to get more information about ID Life, all you got to do is go to my personal website. Man, they hooked me up. TheDougStewartShow.IDLife.com. Once again, TheDougStewartShow.IDLife.com. How does the average busy person earn pay with ID Life, Sean? It's a simple turnkey system. Uh, people's lives may be hard. They may be time and cash strapped. So to be able to buy a system similar to McDonald's for less than you know, what they would have paid for things that did not make them money. I mean, we have more things in our homes that don't make us money than it, than it you know, would take to invest in, a, you know, this type of a business, especially with ID Life. And the amount of product that we get so that we can run business is amazing. But you set your own schedule, and, and you customize, in effect, you actually customize in your business ownership based on your goals and your schedule. When you, when we were talking, when you and I were talking about how you wanted to build it, I just said, okay, what works best with what you do? And you laid that out, and then we just went to work on it. You're starting today. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and there's no, you know, no bricks and mortar, none of those things, no employees. You get about 20 to 25 different tax breaks just for being a part of home-based business owning. And so a lot of a lot of people are able to generate, start getting real money back on their taxes and write stuff off no different than the major corporations. And so, all, but again, all they do is refer product to a friend. Yeah, yeah, and not only All that. All share is product and opportunity. Yeah, not only that, the product is great, man. You're talking about energy drinks, pre-workout, 
shakes, uh, hydrate, which is fantastic. He talked about that earlier. Yeah. Post workouts, this thing is so well packaged. And the great thing about this company, this network marketing company, is it actually has a great product that separates it from a lot of other quote unquote network marketing companies. Sean, where do you see yes, ID Life ten years from now? Well. I mean, when you think about it, ID Life is in, when you're talking about customized nutrition, I mean, customized nutrition, again, has been around for 17 years, but nobody knew about it. This is an industry game changer. I mean, think about it. Remember Blockbuster? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> can, you fi- can you find one now? No, you can't. You can't. And so ID Life, in my opinion, is the Netflix of the nutrition industry. I mean, when people have a choice between getting in their car and going into the cold and having somebody that doesn't even know them recommend things for them or sit at their home, tell a computer exactly what it is that they do so that the computer can tell them exactly what they need, ship it to their home on the day that they want it every month, and they just use it, and they know exactly when they use it. They know exactly what to take because of the strip packs. Oh, it's it's over now. Ten yeah. years from now. Customized nutrition will be the only way that people do this. Yeah, I've been uh, taking the products for months now, and I always talk about it on my show how, you know, for a 46-year-old guy that I'm in pretty good shape, but some of the things and some of the uh, things I've gained from the products, man, are better workouts with the (laughs) pre-workout stuff, uh, as well as less fatigue, you know, with the post-workout as well. Great product. If you want to see the product, all you got to do is go online to the Doug Stewart Show dot idlife.com. That's the Doug Stewart Show dot idlife.com. You'll see exactly what we talked about here with Sean in the last 20 minutes. Sean, great stuff. We're going to be uh, talking to you periodically, uh, weekly, bi weekly about ID Life and about the product. Thank you so much for your time today, brother. Hey, man, we've been super proud of you for a very long time. Thanks for having me. There he is, Sean T. Hill, right there on the Doug Stewart Show. So there you have it, Sean T. Hill talking about ID Life and his great products. And um, man, man, we uh, will talk to him tomorrow. Uh, You kind of heard a little bit of the conversation at the end there talking about the business aspect of the product. Uh, Fantastic product. And from the very beginning, I've been pushing the product because I think the product is great. But there is also a business opportunity as well with it. Tomorrow we'll kind of focus on that with Sean T. Hill. It is a network marketing company. Um, that's their business model, Uh, but they're a great company backed by a lot of great people. So we'll talk about that tomorrow with Dr. Sean T. Hill. This is the Doug Stewart Show. All right, so before we get out of here, the times are kind of like off a little bit now. The show is about to end here in about 10 minutes. Before we went to the break, we were talking about Roddy White. Uh, Basically, Roddy White has come out and his, his agent has said that the reason why Roddy isn't in Atlanta is because solely because of Kyle Shanahan. Here's a quote from Roddy. He says, what Shanahan expected from me and what I expected from him was totally different. Uh, I expected to play a bigger role in the offense, and that what that's what I wanted to do. But he didn't have that in his desires. He had other people that he wanted to play my role, so he wanted me to be out of the offense. That was the whole thing, and it is what it is. I can do nothing about it. I can't change his way of thinking or anything like that. I can just do what I did, which was just handle my business and get myself prepared for this moment. Also in the little interview, and you're listening to the Doug Stewart Show, Roddy White went on to say that Shanahan, his his offense single-handedly lost him two games this year. And I believe that. I believe that. (laughs) Yeah, started out hot, but then they kind of like sputtered to the end there, obviously. And uh, uh, I I definitely believe that the Falcons are going to play against Roddy White coming up this year. Um, And you know what we'll be able to tell at that point? We'll be able to tell based on his production with which team he goes to on whether he's really lost it or that, yeah, Shanahan really did have it in for him and didn't want him to be an integral part of the offense. I mean, we'll we'll be able to tell that, whether it's a third receiver or a second receiver someplace. uh, We'll be able to tell if Roddy still can go and catch the ball, if he can get open. So I'm very interested to see about that. Before we get out of here, though, we were talking about, and I had been talking about how I got caught up with with, um, The Walking Dead. And while we were playing that interview just now, I jotted down 
and it took me a couple of minutes. I jotted down my top five TV series of all time, and I see all the conversation y'all got in the chat room and talking about this, and y'all talking a lot about The Walking Dead. By the way, I bet you Michonne got a good shot. That's neither here nor there. <laughs> That's neither here nor there. So I wrote down my top five TV series of all time. Now, I think when I did this before, I don't think that I had seen Breaking Bad, and I know I didn't. I hadn't had seen uh, uh, Game of Thrones. Um, or not Game of Thrones, I'm sorry, The Walking Dead. So here's my list, the top five. Y'all tell me what y'all think about this in the chat room. We can continue the conversation in the Doug Stewart Show Facebook group as well. Uh, but my top five, number five is Game of Thrones. The Game of Thrones is phenomenal. And all of these that I have in the top five, based on how you look at it, they could be number one. Okay, so they're kind of interchangeable to me. But the reason I have Game of Thrones as five and not four, three, two, or one is because I got to be honest with you. You really got to pay attention when you watch Game of Thrones. You really have to focus and pay attention or a lot of it's not going to make sense. If you didn't read the books, um, you don't know where this is going. It's a lot of characters. There's a lot of storylines going on. And I've actually went back and watched the entire first season of Game of Thrones over again. And I understood it a hundred times better. Okay? So it's th- 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 this show is phenomenal, but it's nothing that you want to play around with. If you're not serious about... <laughs> if, it, if you're not serious and paying attention... If you're going to be on your computer and you're going to be playing around with the dog while you're watching this, you're going to be lost. I'm just telling you right now, you're going to be lost. But a phenomenal TV show. Coming in at number four is The Sopranos. (laughs) Sopranos actually has dropped a couple of spots for me because of these shows I'm about to tell you about here in a second. But it's actually dropped a couple of spots, but phenomenal. I mean, it could easily be number one once again. I mean, I wouldn't have a problem if it were number one if you said it's the best you know, series of all time, uh, just phenomenal. Tony, uh, Tony Soprano, just a great job of acting, phenomenal storyline, obviously. And I like these types of mob-type TV shows. I just said it last week how, you know, if nothing else is on, I'll turn on a documentary about, you know, gang warfare and, and, and mobsters and that type of thing. So Soprano's at number four. Number three is The Walking Dead. Here, here's, here's, here's the thing about The Walking Dead, and you're listening to The Doug Stewart Show. It's not really about zombies, and I saw somebody mention this in the chat room. The Walking Dead is basically a story about what would happen if we lost all the modern-day conveniences of life. That's what it is. And it's scary as hell. Phenomenal storyline, great acting once again, and it just really makes you think. And it's very deep. And some of the darn, uh, some of the, the cliffhangers at the end of these episodes, man, at the end of these seasons are just crazy. Coming in at number two is another show that I slept on for a while. But after I watched it, man, I was like, my gosh, I can't believe I almost missed this. Coming in at number two is the great Walter White and Breaking Bad. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> and here's the thing about Breaking Bad and... The Walking Dead, both of these are kind of like network TV, even though in these series they use a couple of cuss words. They don't use the big four-letter words or whatever. It's network TV for the most part. Um, It's not cable TV. It's not like, you know, they have all the liberties to do whatever the hell they want on HBO and Cinemax and all of those. So they're kind of limited, but both of these shows are still uh, phenomenal. So at number two, I got Breaking Bad, The Great Walter White. And number one, y'all know what it is, The Wire. The number one TV series that I've seen in my life. And it ain't even close. You talk about intricate. You talk about phenomenal acting. And a lot of people that don't, you know, they can't kind of relate to the lifestyle and to where they come from. They probably won't like it. You know, if you come from suburbia or whatever and you don't know these types of characters or had these types of situations in your life. You might be like, it's kind of going to turn you off because it's so gritty and it's so real. Um, But The Wire, man, the number one series of all time to me, and it's not even close. Not even close. What are your thoughts, man? (laughs) What are your thoughts? Crazy, crazy shows. 
And you know what gets an honorable mention for me? And a lot of people sleep on this show. But I got Game of Thrones number five. And a close number six is Dexter. Okay? A close number six is Dexter. If you've never seen Dexter, first you need to watch Breaking Bad. <laughs> then you need to watch The Walking Dead. I'm pretty sure you've seen The Wire and The Sopranos and Game of Thrones. But give Dexter a shot, man. Phenomenal TV show as well. TV series. Great stuff. Hey, man, thank you so much for tuning in to the Doug Stewart Show. Fun show today, as it is every day. Shout out to my man, Waterhead Walter, producer to the show. Dwayne Vassan, Gerald Oliveri. Thank you, thank you, thank you. The engineers to the show. And a special thank you and a big ups to the Stewies. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the support. Yes, sir. All right, we'll do it again tomorrow. Same Doug Stewart time, same Doug Stewart channel. Peace.